Hi, this is Quantum Matt. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the simplest way to add a session to your Pinescape strategies, and it will take you just a few minutes and a few lines of code. If you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. This will help me to create more and better content for you. So idea is pretty simple. So you have a strategy uh, here. I have a simple moving average strategy and you basically can trade a strategy on something like Bitcoin 24 seven. But if you want, for example, to monitor your um, uh, your positions, your trades, probably you want to limit your strategy to trade only in specific hours and in specific days. And in this video, we'll show you how you can do exactly that. So first of all, let's uh, create an input. I will call uh, this input a session. I, I create this input so I don't have to change my code every time I want to change my session. And um, this will be like a string input. And here I have to specify my session in a very specific way. So first of all, I have to specify a range for the time range for my session. And for example, I want to trade from nine o'clock to uh, let's say 5 p.m. And this is how I define my session with a dash in it. And now after the call, you can specify days of the week you want to trade in. If you want to trade in uh, all days of the week, you can just uh, pass all the numbers from one to seven. If you want to trade, for example, Monday to Friday, you can specify numbers from two to six, because I believe that one here is uh, Sunday. So that's it. Now we have uh, input with our session. So now let's compute our session. So to do that, I will create another variable. I will call it T. And here I will assign it result of a time um, function. First argument will be time frame uh, dot period built in variable. And uh, second file will be our session. And that's it. Basically, now our session is computed. So now let's look at how this uh, time uh, function actually work. So um, it works following way. It took this session and for every bar in this session, it will output us time for this bar. And for all other bars outside the session, it will output a not available. So let's check if um, our code work correctly. So I will use uh, background color as, as a way to present it. Let's um, do the following way. So I will do this for me. So if it's not an A, so if our variable is not an A, so basically if we're in a session, I will uh, plot like, a, let's say, a green um, background and not available in all other cases. Let's see, save it and see if it works. So as you can see, we have uh, now a green backgrounds. And if we check you know, the first bar and the last bar in our uh, session, it seems that it works correctly. Uh, also, we can go now in our parameters and try to play with it a bit. So just to understand if it works or not. So it seems to work. We can limit a you know, number of days and also it should uh, work. We should see here missing kind of days. So it seems uh, to work pretty good. So our session is computed. So now we have to add um, session logic to our strategy entries and exits. So first I will add um, this not an A um, um, expression to all my entries. So I will add using, we'll do that using um, and logical operator. So that's basically it. Let's save it and see if it works. Let's uh, zoom in. And as you can see, we have now entries only inside our session. So that's good, but there's still a problem um, when we have like the last entry inside the session, we basically keep this position kind of across like non-session hours and we don't want to do that. So for that, I have to, to um, create like an if uh, statement. I've checked that um, my variable is not available. So basically we're not in the session. And here we have to, to call uh, two, um, two, two functions. So first of all, I will call um, cancel all. Uh, this function will cancel all kind of pending orders. And uh, next one is uh, close all. This will close all open position at this moment. So let's save it and see if it works. And as you can see now for the first uh, bar of not uh, session bars, we have, um, we have an exit and we don't have a position for all uh, this period in not in the session. 
so it seems uh, to work uh, pretty good i believe that's it for the video i hope it was useful for you thank you for watching and see you in the next one